Welcome back to Ill Reviews, the channel for the movie heads and the music junkies, where I keep you up to date on what's popping in these streets. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, because I will be doing at least two movie or music reviews every single week, though. Y'all ready? Let's get it. <laughs> what up, world? So, you know, I'm back with my favorite special guest. I'm going to let her introduce herself and tell y'all what she got going on. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Danica, your original boss lady. Make sure you follow me on IG. I'm doing skits, commentary, music, all that. My name is Danico. Let's go. Yo, so it's been a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what you got going on? What you been doing? Working on skits, commentary. You know, I have my Hustle Crime Unit um, project that I've been working on mm -hmm. and, you know, filming alongside my husband. Um, Y'all can follow him because he's doing comedy now as Super Dad underscore comedy on Instagram. Nice. Very, very funny. He plays a crackhead and all that. So make sure y'all go check John out, okay? <laughs> Yeah, check it out. We'll put it in the description if you don't mind. Definitely go check out them skits. They doing numbers, you feel me? They going up, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're here today to talk about this new project from Saweetie. If, if y'all know who Saweetie is, um, she's 27 years old. She's from the West Coast, California. You feel me? She signed to Warner Records. Um, and she's doing her thing. She's working hard. I didn't even know this was coming out. Um, it just surprised me. But then I was on YouTube scroll and I did yeah. see they dropped the video for Risky today. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know it till like an hour ago. But um, so how you feel overall uh, about Saweetie as an artist? I think she's pretty dope. She uh -huh. came from out of nowhere, definitely. Like I, I, I there was really no work up. She, just, they just kind of threw her out there, and I was like, okay, yeah, okay. She and really you know, I like her. Very beautiful young lady. You know, very talented. You know, I, I can't wait to hear this because I don't really listen to her music as often as I probably should. So mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what this sounds like. And you know, she's more like a singles artist. I never thought she was gonna put out a project because she had just put out a song. Um, remember that's my type. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then she put out another song that had that uh, old two short beat, and then I thought she was gonna just run it like that to see she's putting out a whole little project. I'm like, okay, you feel me? Let's see how this go. Well, those songs were bops, so of course. maybe this whole project will be a bop. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. So the first track on this that we're gonna check out is called Risky, featuring Drakeo, the Ruler. Drake. Three, two shots, got a fish feeling risky. Gang mixy, three two shots, got a bitch feeling risky. I heard down to one ten, get sideways. I told the bitches my way to the highway. Double shit, steady, but her name's on her. Bitch, the sleep on her, she got the feet on her. Sorry, I'm sorry. Look, 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 I'm so sorry. The song don't though. I like her part when she came in. You know, it's a, it's a pretty girl summer, all that. Cause you know, Megan Thee Stallion had hot girl summer. Now mm -hmm. we seeing pretty girl summer. I rock with it. You know what I'm saying? But when Buddy came in, um, I just immediately <laughs> my business line ringing. Yeah, I'm good, John. I immediately got lost. You know, and it's and it's no offense to him because he probably a dope artist, and I'm gonna go look him up so I can listen to some of his other stuff because mm -hmm. I ain't trying to judge nobody. But we already have a blue face, right? That yeah. raps off the cadence and that mm -hmm. raps off the beat. He just rapping to his own little whatever, and we just yeah, yeah, yeah. rock with him because it, it gets dope. Over, you know, it gets dope in and out and over time. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm making any sense, yeah. but I'm not feeling it. I'm nah, so sorry. No, I rap too though. We ride the beat right here. Like we like we skate across the beats right here. Like I don't do blue face. I never that's why y'all never see me review a blue face album, this whole thing. Like we not rock with that at all, you feel me? I barely rock with T Grizzly because he be kinda lagging. He ain't hitting the snare and the hit right. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with that at all. She, they shouldn't have put him on the song, man. Or have <laughs> him just do his verse over. Even like even his energy was like less than hers. You feel me? Like her energy was up tempo. She's riding the beat and he came in kinda dry, kinda hoarse, and he's nah. 
I would have been like, please, can you just do your verse over? Like, and then. But you know, maybe he a family member, a friend, or whatever. She was just trying to put buddy on, and if that's that's the case, that's okay. But I just know for me, mm -hmm. I said for me, it's not for me, but it may be for somebody else. So shout out to him because he's still on, because his name out there, he's still on. Blue check. You right, everybody. And I get my blue check from Jesus. Blueface does have fans that can listen to that, so I get what you're saying. But what I meant to say earlier when we st first talk, started talking about Saweetie, she's really working a lot right now because I forgot she just got a new song with Gwen Stefani, I think. Okay. Did you I'm see gonna... that? It's called Clap. Nah, I'm going to want to hear that. I'm gonna... She got a song with Gwen Stefani just came out called Clap, and she knows she, she just got that song uh, Best Friend with Doja Cat. Okay, I did hear that, and that sounds really nice. So Saweetie's actually working her ass off, and then she come with this. That's what it takes. I'm really peeping her grind right now. I think I mentioned that in another video. Like, mm -hmm. when it comes to all these female rappers, it's going to come down to who's working the hardest. Yeah. And so Weedy's actually... She working. She she's working. She's working. Like she working. So I'm proud of her. Track two that we're going to check out is called Baby Mama Coochie featuring Baby Africa. Okay. Got her. She said she got the baby mama coochie, but she ain't got the double D's yet. What you think of this song? No, it's a no for me. Listen, listen to me right quick. I just want to say this for any aspiring artists out there. Like, even if you're from the Bay Area, when you putting out an album, you want to make sure that everybody around the globe or either just everybody in the U.S., like, in different states will rock with your sound. Mm -hmm. So you, I'm... We haven't listened to it all yet, so there may be some other kind of tracks on here. Mm -hmm. But you got to give us something else. And the mix on that, I don't know who mixed it, but um, I, I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't like it. I'm so sorry because I try to be nice. And, and I, well, I am nice. I, I just try to like everything. And I try to see the, the goodness you give it, and everything. No, you give it constructive criticism. But I, I just can't me. rock with this one at all. I'm so sorry. Baby Mama Coochie, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. I love the name. And I was like, she finna tear this up. I know mm -hmm. this finna be lit. Then when it when it came on, I just was like, mm, I don't know, did, sis. Did you like the beat, though? I like the track, but I want to hear a different type. I wanted to hear a different type of track for that. I don't know. That's not yeah. it for me. I'm so I like the I like that beat, but I don't like the mix on the vocals. You feel me? Um, huh? yeah, I don't like it. Especially like, cause you understand, like she's coming off of well-produced tracks, like my type. The vocals, yeah. is, is the mix well, it went together. Like you can't come out with that level of production, then kind of like come to this level of vocal mixing. It's like uh, you took a step back on that one, unfortunately. And maybe the person that was, cause you know what, like they say, even with music, even with my music, like it's progressed over time because I've gotten with the right people. Shout out to Bolo the producer, mm -hmm. because when someone is engineering your song. Like they have, they have to bring out the greatness in it. Like your voice, your vocals, yeah. all your rapping, your lyrics, everything is great. But that mix and that master is very everything. important because that's how we're gonna hear it. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? And it, it just has to all make sense to the ear. And this made no sense to my <laughs> ear. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Thanks. So track three that we about to check out is called Seesaw, featuring Kendra J. This is actually Kendra J song featuring Saweetie. Oh. So that's Kendra J on that first part, I'm pretty sure. Or you think, I don't think that's Saweetie's voice. Down, 
is hot. Okay, now as far as Saweetie's part, because this ain't her song. This is really Kendra yeah. J's song Kendra and J. featuring Saweetie. Yeah. Saweetie, when she came in, it sounded pretty decent. Um, It just was a little rushed out. I don't like that. She didn't give us enough bars, but, you know, that's okay. But mm -hmm. the girl Kendra J, whoo! That song is fire. I love the cadence. I love the hook. It's so catchy. Mm -hmm. It is so catchy. Shout out to Kendra J. That is so catchy. I love it. Because this was a good song, and I think she did the right thing to uh Because I don't know who she is, but by putting Sweetie on it, even though I didn't really like Sweetie's verse, it was too short, and I don't think it's one of them, but it still was all right, but it wasn't one of Sweetie's best verses. But I think she was like, y'all got a good song, but to really get it out to people, she was like, oh, Sweetie, more people going to hear it. And I think a lot of people will be talking about this song and her after this, after today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They she go, definitely put gonna, her on. Yeah, they're going to know who she is now because that song. Because I'm going to go look her up. <laughs> yeah, for real. So the next track we're going to check, check out is uh, Pretty and Rich. Okay. It's just Sweetie Mark. Okay. So. I think this gonna work for her in the clubs. You know when you come, to, like she do her little appearances, and she got to do certain songs for certain crowds. Yeah, that'd be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Up. If she don't, she might. I don't know if it's gonna work in every club, but where I'm from, she could kill in the club in the Midwest. Like they go for shit like this, and they might go for for the clubs in Atlanta. You know They're what I'm gonna saying? go for it here in Atlanta, and mm -hmm. um, not to cut you off, but um, the TikTokers they'll get a hold of it, and they'll bring it to life. Yep. So shout out to Saweetie on Pretty and Rich because. Is pretty dope and it's gonna do something. I can tell. It should be called Pretty Girl Swag, though. And really. other places too. That should have been the title. Pretty. Oh Girl yeah, swag. Pretty Girl Swag. Probably should have changed it to that, but it's okay. You know pretty what I'm saying. Pretty rich. The next track we have is Backseat featuring Lourdes. Okay. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. That. Yeah, because who is this Lord is? Uh, I don't girl. know, but she is fly. I'm gonna go look her up. <laughs> she skated across that hook. She killed that. Then, like, this got me um having a little bit more respect for Saweetie's rapping. Yeah. You feel me? I'm like, she was going in on the verses on that one. Yes, she was. I felt her lyrically. I mean, the cadence was dope. Everything was just dope about the whole vibe of the song. Yeah, like Sweetie, this is what I'm talking about. This That's is it. what we want from you. And you said you wanted a different sound than the baby. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. It's, Yo. Yeah, you still got a little bit of bay in there, but you gave me a little bit of Florida, Miami, Florida, where I'm from. You mm -hmm. gave me a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? You told me that I can travel with this song with my boo thing. You know what I'm saying? And I was fucking with it, sis. So give us more of this. Yeah. So track six is called Talking About featuring Saweetie. So this is somebody named Louis. L-O-U-I. I guess that's how. Why is all these names just hard to pronounce on this? But um, let's check it out. All right. 
This is a PSA from a big booty nigga. This is enough, I treat her like a soldier. I hit it from the back, I pull her hair, so fuck her closer. club song you know you can dance to it i believe that tiktok again go back to these influencers because this is what's going to help it to really pop get one of them tiktok influencers mm -hmm. to do a dance to it and you i like how I'm it felt like that was just this was like fun this is yeah. like this is a fun record you and they me? had fun i think they had i fun think they had fun in the studio making yeah. it you can almost feel it through the music you know yeah. what i'm saying and i wasn't expecting that at all you know what i'm saying like going from the the, the, the vibe that we just got on um, the back seat with that Lourdes chick, and then to this, I'm like, yo, this is two different worlds. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's crazy that she can hop in and out those two different yeah. worlds. Yeah, I, like I like I like that about her, and I, I I want her to give me more of that back seat and this talking about vibe from here on out. Give us more of this this because we we're receiving it all. Because that talking about that's more something you expect to hear from an ATL artist or yeah. something. You feel yeah. me? Maybe some Florida, but not no. No West Coast artist is going to make that kind of song like that. Yeah. I don't see it, but that's where she's from. She's from Cali, but she can hop in that lane. That's Everybody can't do that. So the final track on this project is called Sweat Check. Okay. Let's check it out. Sweat for the chick. It's Sweetie Bitch. And look, I know y'all tired about me talking about a bitch nigga. But you all here fuck. <laughs> that's that sweat check how you feel about it i like it that's for the radio that's for the club it's definitely a workout song so i might even go on tiktok and do that one and just be working out because lord knows i need to get it in i like yo that yeah you could though because with your platform it. your your, your yeah. fan base you probably could use that song i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it for the i'm gonna stop my diet after this i'm gonna do it sweetie ah! i'm tagging you girl that's nice though like i i, I like the uh the versatility that she showed because i wasn't expecting that type of song and now it's to the point like i feel like because that one song you didn't like I actually like the beat i just didn't like the mix but the fact that she can hop on that because i'm like now i feel like you can just come in this sweetie can just come in the studio and you just play like anything any beat, and she's gonna rock and with she it. probably can give you something to it and i don't know that many artists that can do that you know what i'm saying because now I feel like I don't put her in a box no more. That just that Bay Area sound no more. She's versatile than a motherfucker to me now, and I ain't even I expect none of this. You feel me? So at all these songs, what would you say your top two is? You feel me? That you think it's gonna go go? I like backseat, and I like sweat check. It's a top two. I, yeah, uh, I really like talking about. I mean, I got a top three, man. Yeah. Let me let me just go ahead. Backseat, talking about, and sweat check. That's mine in order. Got you. You don't like Pretty Girl Swag? I like it, but again, like I say, somebody already has a song similar to that. <laughs> yeah. And I just keep thinking back to their song whenever I hear, mm -hmm. you know, so it's kind of hard for me to, and which I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree to that, but yeah. it, it's, I ain't saying she copy it. Don't, don't get my words twisted now. Well, what I said is, it just sounds too similar to Soldier Boy, so it just threw me off. You know they was talking about her for that because she had two other songs that was like really remakes of old songs. Did you see that shit when they're saying she only can make a hit? You know if Chris was trying to come at her, she only can make a hit if she remakes an old song. 
You feel me? You well, the, well, well, I'm sorry. A pretty yeah. rich, pretty and rich is not it. No matter yeah. if someone TikToked it or not. I mean, this this backseat mm -hmm. and talking about and sweat check. Those three can do a lot. She definitely need to do like a workout themed video for the sweat mm -hmm. check. I think that'd be fire. You know what I'm saying? But my point with the pretty uh, girl swag is she clearly didn't care what the critics said because she still tried it again. Like, well, maybe she wanted to get people to talking because, you know, controversy sells too. Yeah. So I think she just wanted to get people talking. So that's why she just went ahead and just like, anyway, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. So, okay, uh, after listening to all 77 of these tracks, um, what would you rate it out of five with uh, five being the greatest and uh, 2.5 being average? 2.5. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You ain't giving it no love. It's, it's, this is an average EP to you. Yeah. Because the mix down on some of them, it, it could it could have been better. But I mean, she dope though. She very talented, and I love the fact that she can hop on any track and really kill it. That's a plus. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's just where I'm at, you know, when it comes to the rating. Sorry. Well, I'm gonna give it four point five out of five. You're so nice. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite song? I like all of these except by Big Mama Coochie. Okay. And I just don't like Drake. Drake was verse on track one, but I think Seesaw could do something somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think Pretty and Rich can do something somewhere. Backseat featuring Lucas, that's definitely a whole fucking hit. Six talking about that song is fun as fuck. The TikTokers gonna fuck with it. And that sweat check cheek, uh, sweat check. Well, mm -hmm. that sweat check. Y'all know what I was trying to say. That shit is like so different and versatile. It's gonna probably go in the clubs. And the fact that she's this versatile, like I do a lot of reviews on EPs and uses like one song or two out of seven songs when I do these EPs that I feel like it's something. This to me is more, you know what I'm saying? I think she's going to get a lot of this, out of this project. Mm -hmm. Also, I think she put some people on. I think Kendra J about to have a career now. Yes. I think Lourdes is about to have a career yes. now. I think Louis about to have a career yes. now. Yes. And for that alone, you feel me? I think I got to give it a 4.5. You the ruler. I'm going to go listen to the Drake I'm going to go listen to the rest of your songs, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you on, though, now. You feel me? Yes. And all of these artists that she's worked with do deserve to get on. She, we deserve to get on. I deserve to get on. With that being said, um, when I have to choose my top three picks, I'm going to go with Seesaw being first, Backseat, and Talking About. Because ah, Talking About is so dope talking about is fly. Yeah, fine, I do fine. also I also like sweat check because again mm -hmm. like I say I can use that and go on TikTok and play around with that or whatever because I know that you know that song will become very popular on TikTok. It would only make sense because of the versatility in it. You can work out to it. You can just dance. You can act silly to it. All of that. These influencers are going to have a blast with it. So shout out to Sweetie on the dope EP that she put out. We love it girl. Yo and like I said in that last video who did I just reviewed the other day I think Angel Doll Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, I think Saweetie and Asia Doll is in the top five right now, female rappers. It's Cardi B, then Meg Thee Stallion, and then I think Asian Doll and Saweetie is somewhere in that top five, too. Would you agree, or you got some other picks? Because you still got, like, Tokyo Jets, you know what I'm saying? I think y'all be sleeping on Tokyo Jets. Her last album was actually good. I did a review. I think y'all be sleeping good. on that girl. She pretty dope to me. Mm -hmm. So can I just put her in the third place, please? Because I really, <laughs> truly feel like she belonged there. Yeah. And then everybody else to follow. Got you, but Mulatto's out here. Mulatto's pretty dope too, though. Rennie Roots is out here. Cash Doll's kind of quiet, but yo, Sweetie's working though. She's she's doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? She already got songs on the charts in the top ten with Doja Cat and Gwen Stefani, like right now. You feel me? And, that's and why put she's this so out. Yo, keep going, Sweetie. You doing your thing? Uh, she's not with Quavo no more, apparently. You feel me? Oh, so uh, she's on the market. All right, y'all heard, y'all heard what she said. She pretty and rich. <laughs> Don't be coming with that broke people stuff, okay? Real talk. So yeah, y'all let us know what y'all thought about this project. Um, let us know your favorite tracks. Uh, let let us know everything. What y'all think about Saweetie's and her moves. What she needs to do next. What y'all like, what y'all don't like. And until next time, y'all treat each other right. It's a cold world. I'm trying to heat it up. This has been Ill Reviews. We out. Yeah. Prices. I talk like a hustler. They say my grind righteous. Still on my shit, real as a kid. You can admit, you feeling this shit. I'm feeling myself, looking for tweet. No sugar around, nothing is sweet. Trying to be calm, but ready to bomb. Hope y'all on board, cause I am beyond. Mind in my line, word like a rhyme. Can't be defined, the flow is refined like crude oil from an oil rig. No moose for I'm a tall big. I put in that work, look at the